first thing that you're going to need in order to run your test through Sauce Connect is the exact tunnel name from the Sauce Labs Tunnels dashboard. So go in there and copy whichever tunnel name you have listed for your running tunnel. Next, we'll go to the config YAML file for our Sauce CTL. Within the Sauce data object, create a tunnel data object and a subset of that will be the ID where you'll paste in the tunnel name that you got from your dashboard. You can run a Cypress test through a Sauce Connect proxy tunnel in Sauce mode using the Sauce Labs VM. Simply type in the run command for Sauce CTL and specify in the Sauce test environment. You'll see your test starting up. Keep in mind that this is passing all of your test data to the Sauce Labs platform virtual machine, so it might take a minute for this test to run. Once all the test data has been passed onto the Sauce Labs virtual machine, you can run several tests at once, then visit the Sauce Labs dashboard to see the test results as well as share them. When you look on the test results dashboard, you'll see your Cypress tests have run with an icon indicating that it was run through a Sauce Connect proxy tunnel with that tunnel ID. If you click into the test, you can also see an icon here indicating that you ran your test through the Sauce Connect proxy tunnel. Another option you have if you don't want to add your tunnel ID permanently to config YAML is to set the Sauce Connect tunnel ID with a flag when you run your test, either locally or in your CI CD pipeline. Simply type in Sauce CTL run with the Sauce test environment to run it on a virtual machine, then add in the flag tunnel ID, and you can copy the tunnel ID from your Sauce Labs dashboard and enter it in. When you run it this way, you should also be able to visit the Sauce Connect dashboard to see your automated test results and see the icon next to the tests that were run, indicating that they were run through the Sauce Connect proxy. Thank you.